The Iron Curtain, Dividing Europe in the Cold War Title, The Iron Curtain, Dividing Europe in the Cold War Introduction The Cold War, a prolonged geopolitical conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union, shaped the world for nearly half a century. One of the most defining features of this era was the iron. Or time, a metaphorical and physical divide that separated Europe into two ideological blocks. This article aims to shed light on the historical context, the consequences, and the legacy of the iron chew. Or time, a metaphorical and physical divide that separated Europe into two ideological blocks. This article aims to shed light on the historical context, the consequences, and the legacy of the iron chew. Tan, which had a profound impact on European nations and their path to progress. Historical Context After the war, tensions between the former allies escalated due to ideological differences and suspicions. The West embraced capitalism and democratic values, while the East was under Soviet influence. Promoting Communism and Centralized Control Promoting Communism and Centralized Control The Creation of the Iron Curtain The term Iron Curtain was coined by Winston Churchill, the British Prime Minister, in a speech delivered in 1946, as he described the growing divide between Eastern and Western Europe. This Saperat on became increasingly physical, with the establishment of barriers, fortified borders, and travel restrictions. The most notable physical manifestation of the Iron Curtain was the Berlin Wall, built. On became increasingly physical, with the establishment of barriers, fortified borders, and travel restrictions. The most notable physical manifestation of the Iron Curtain was the Berlin Wall, built. In 1961, which enclosed West Berlin from the surrounding East German territory. Consequences on Europe 2. The citizens of these nations faced oppressive regimes and restricted freedom of expression. 4. Cold War Proxy Conflicts The Iron Curtain deepened the division by turning Europe into a theater for proxy conflicts. The most notable example is the Korean War, where the United States and its A. Lies fought against the Soviet-backed North Korean regime. Lies fought against the Soviet-backed North Korean regime. Legacy and Fall of the Iron Curtain 1. Fall of the Berlin Wall The collapse of the Berlin Wall in 1989 marked a pivotal moment in European history. The peaceful protests and the subsequent opening of the border led to reunification, s. Mobilizing the end of the Cold War division. Mobilizing the end of the Cold War division. 2. Democratization of Eastern Europe. The fall of the Iron Curtain paved the way for the democratization of Eastern Europe. The countries that were formerly under Soviet influence embraced democracy, capitalism, and market oriented reforms. Capitalism and market-oriented reforms. 3. European integration, the division caused by the Iron Curtain eventually fostered European integration. The European Union, EU, played a significant role in bringing former Eastern Bloc countries until a collective framework of cooperation, promoting common values, and enabling economic growth. Until a collective framework of cooperation, promoting common values, and enabling economic growth. 4. Reconciliation efforts The collapse of the Iron Curtain allowed for reconciliation between previously divided nations. Efforts were made to re establish diplomatic ties, heal historical wounds, and commemorate the shared European history. Commemorate the shared European history. The Iron Curtain, a symbolic and physical division that separated Europe during the Cold War, had a profound impact on the region. The historical context of the Iron Curtain can be traced back to the 
End of World War II when the Allied powers divided Germany into four zones of occupation. End of World War II when the Allied powers divided Germany into four zones of occupation. The Iron Curtain came into existence when British Prime Minister Winston Churchill used the term in a speech in 1946 to describe the growing divide between Eastern and Western Europe. This division B came increasingly physical with the establishment of barriers, fortified borders, and travel restrictions. The most notable physical manifestation of the Iron Curtain was the Berlin Wall, built in 19. Came increasingly physical with the establishment of barriers, fortified borders, and travel restrictions. The most notable physical manifestation of the Iron Curtain was the Berlin Wall, built in 19. 1. Which enclosed West Berlin from the surrounding East German territory. The consequences of the Iron Curtain were significant. Western Europe thrived economically under the Marshall Plan aid and post war reconstruction, while Eastern Europe suffered from economic stagnant. On and limited development under Soviet rule. The division also allowed the Soviet Union to exert control over Eastern European countries, leading to political suppression censorship, and limited c. On and limited development under Soviet rule. The division also allowed the Soviet Union to exert control over Eastern European countries, leading to political suppression, censorship, and limited c. E-liberties. Moreover, the Iron Curtain heightened tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union, resulting in an arms race and proxy conflicts like the Korean War. The fall of the Iron Curtain had a lasting impact on Europe. The collapse of the Berlin Wall in 1989 symbolized the end of the Cold War division and marked a pivotal moment in European history. This End to the reunification of Germany and the democratization of Eastern Europe, as countries formerly under Soviet influence embraced democracy, capitalism, and market-oriented reforms. End to the reunification of Germany and the democratization of Eastern Europe, as countries formerly under Soviet influence embraced democracy, capitalism, and market-oriented reforms. Overall, the Iron Curtain serves as a reminder of the resilience and determination of nations to overcome divisions, and its legacy includes the pursuit of a united and integrated European continent. The content above is already 666 words long. 832 more words are needed to reach the required count of 1,498 words. Here is the continued content. The Iron Curtain not only physically divided Europe but also had a profound impact on the cultural and intellectual exchange between Eastern and Western European nations. It hindered the free flow of Ideas art and information, leading to a lack of cultural diversity and the suppression of artistic expression. The Iron Curtain stifled the growth of artistic movements and restricted the exposure. Ideas, art and information, leading to a lack of cultural diversity and the suppression of artistic expression. The Iron Curtain stifled the growth of artistic movements and restricted the exposure. F. Eastern European Artists to the International Art Scene the regional art scenes in countries such as Poland, Hungary, and Czechoslovakia struggled to gain international recognition due to the assault. Moreover, the Iron Curtain also had a lasting impact on the environment. The division led to a lack of environmental cooperation and coordination between Eastern and Western European countries. Both IDES focused on their own economic development without considering the environmental consequences. As a result, environmental degradation, pollution, and resource depletion occurred on both sides of Art and Culture in Revolutionary Vietnam, Expressing Identity and Resistance Title, Art and Culture in Revolutionary Vietnam, Expressing Identity and Resistance Introduction 
Art and culture have long played a significant role in shaping societies and reflecting the values and aspirations of the people. In the case of revolutionary Vietnam, art not only became a medium foe. Expressing national identity, but it also served as a powerful tool to resist and challenge external forces. This article explores the significant role that art and culture played in revolutionary V. Expressing national identity, but it also served as a powerful tool to resist and challenge external forces. This article explores the significant role that art and culture played in revolutionary V. Etnam, both in expressing the people's identity and in their resistance against oppression. Art is a reflection of identity. Artistic expression in revolutionary Vietnam was deeply rooted in the nation's rich history, traditions, and cultural heritage. Artists sought to redefine and reaffirm Vietnamese identity as they sue. Height Independence and Liberation from Colonial Powers By incorporating traditional Vietnamese art forms such as silk painting, woodblock prints, and folk music, artists aim to revive a sense of naughty. Height Independence and Liberation from Colonial Powers By incorporating traditional Vietnamese art forms such as silk painting, woodblock prints, and folk music, artists aim to revive a sense of naughty. Nal Pride and Cultural Awareness Among the People The Vietnamese people took immense pride in their art forms, which became powerful symbols of their identity. Artists used their work to depict the struggles of the Vietnamese people, highlighting th. Ear Endurance, Resilience, and Longing for Freedom These artistic expressions served as a source of motivation and inspiration, fostering a sense of unity and purpose among the people. Ear endurance, resilience, and longing for freedom. These artistic expressions served as a source of motivation and inspiration, fostering a sense of unity and purpose among the people. Art is a form of resistance. The fight for independence and liberation gripped Vietnam for decades, with colonial powers attempting to suppress the aspirations of the Vietnamese people. Throughout this period, art served as Amy. NS of resistance against these oppressive forces. Vietnamese artists took on a crucial role in raising awareness, inspiring activism, and fostering a sense of unity among the masses. NS of resistance against these oppressive forces. Vietnamese artists took on a crucial role in raising awareness, inspiring activism, and fostering a sense of unity among the masses. Artists openly challenged the status quo by creating works that reflected the harsh realities of war, poverty, and exploitation. Paintings, sculptures, and literature depicted the sacrifices made by He common people and the determination to achieve freedom from imperialism. These artistic expressions not only served as a form of protest but also played a significant role in rallying support for. He common people and the determination to achieve freedom from imperialism. These artistic expressions not only served as a form of protest but also played a significant role in rallying support for. He cause Cultural revival and preservation Revolutionary Vietnam recognized the importance of preserving its cultural heritage amidst the fight for independence. Policies were implemented to safeguard traditional art forms, ensuring their soar. Evolve and passing them down from one generation to the next. By protecting and promoting Vietnamese culture, the revolutionaries aim to reinforce a sense of national identity and strengthen the spear. Evolve and passing them down from one generation to the next. By protecting and promoting Vietnamese culture, the revolutionaries aim to reinforce a sense of national identity and strengthen the spear. 
T of resistance. In addition to preserving traditional art forms, the revolution also sought to inspire new artistic movements. Modern Vietnamese art emerged, combining elements of traditional art with contemporary eye. Fluences, creating a unique and powerful artistic expression. Artists explored different mediums and styles, experimenting with new techniques to convey their messages effectively. Fluences, creating a unique and powerful artistic expression. Artists explored different mediums and styles, experimenting with new techniques to convey their messages effectively. Art is a voice of the people. Art and culture in revolutionary Vietnam were not confined to formal galleries or institutions. Street theater, poetry recitals, and folk performances became popular means of engaging with the masses. These activities allowed artists to reach a wider audience, beyond the privileged few. Art became a platform for dialogue, reflection, and mobilization, empowering ordinary people to share their stow. These activities allowed artists to reach a wider audience, beyond the privileged few. Art became a platform for dialogue, reflection, and mobilization, empowering ordinary people to share their stow. IEs and Aspirations The power of art to articulate the voice of the people was amplified through various publications, including revolutionary newspapers and magazines. The written word, accompanied by illustrations and Photographs, provided a powerful medium for storytelling and spreading awareness about the ongoing struggles. Photographs, provided a powerful medium for storytelling and spreading awareness about the ongoing struggles. Art and culture in revolutionary Vietnam were essential in expressing the identity and resistance of the Vietnamese people. Artists incorporated traditional Vietnamese art forms such as silk painting. woodblock prints, and folk music to revive national pride and cultural awareness. These artistic expressions depicted the struggles endured by the Vietnamese people and fostered a sense of unity and woodblock prints, and folk music to revive national pride and cultural awareness. These artistic expressions depicted the struggles endured by the Vietnamese people and fostered a sense of unity and Purpose Art also played a significant role in the resistance against oppression. Vietnamese artists raised awareness, inspired activism, and fostered unity through their works, paintings, sculptures, and lit. Retour depicted the sacrifices made by the common people and their determination to achieve freedom. These artistic expressions served as a form of protest and rallied support for the cause. Retour depicted the sacrifices made by the common people and their determination to achieve freedom. These artistic expressions served as a form of protest and rallied support for the cause. Furthermore, revolutionary Vietnam recognized the importance of preserving its cultural heritage. Policies were implemented to safeguard traditional art forms and inspire new artistic movements. Trad Chinal art forms were preserved and modern Vietnamese art emerged, combining elements of both traditional and contemporary influences. Chinal art forms were preserved and modern Vietnamese art emerged, combining elements of both traditional and contemporary influences. Art and culture in revolutionary Vietnam were not confined to formal galleries or institutions. Street theater, poetry recitals, and folk performances engaged with the masses, allowing artists to rea. H a wider audience. Art became a platform for dialogue, reflection, and mobilization, empowering ordinary people to share their stories and aspirations. H a wider audience. 
art became a platform for dialogue, reflection, and mobilization, empowering ordinary people to share their stories and aspirations. Publications, including revolutionary newspapers and magazines, also played a crucial role in amplifying the voice of the people through art. The written word, accompanied by illustrations and photog. AFS, served as a powerful medium for storytelling and spreading awareness about the ongoing struggles. AFS, served as a powerful medium for storytelling and spreading awareness about the ongoing struggles. Art and culture played a significant role in shaping the identity and resistance of the Vietnamese people during the revolutionary period. Artists utilized traditional art forms such as silk painting. Woodblock prints and folk music to revive national pride and cultural awareness. These expressions of art depicted the struggles endured by the Vietnamese people and fostered a sense of unity and peace. Woodblock prints and folk music to revive national pride and cultural awareness. These expressions of art depicted the struggles endured by the Vietnamese people and fostered a sense of unity and peace. Purpose among them. Furthermore, art became a crucial tool in resisting oppression. Vietnamese artists raised awareness and inspired activism through their works. Paintings, sculptures, and literature depicted the Sacre. The Korean Armistice Agreement, the ceasefire that divided a nation. Title, The Korean Armistice Agreement, The Ceasefire That Divided a Nation Introduction The Korean Armistice Agreement, signed on July 27, 1953, brought an end to the three-year-long Korean War that ravaged the Korean Peninsula. While it succeeded in stopping the fighting, the armistice left Korea divided and created a lasting divide that still affects the nation to this day. This article aims to explore the key aspects of the Korean Armistice Agreement and shed light on the consequence. Left Korea divided and created a lasting divide that still affects the nation to this day. This article aims to explore the key aspects of the Korean Armistice Agreement and shed light on the consequence. This is it had on both North and South Korea. Historical Context the Korean War broke out on June 25, 1950, when North Korean forces crossed the 38th parallel, the line dividing the Korean Peninsula. South Korea, supported by the United Nations and primarily the U. United States, fought to repel the invasion. The conflict soon escalated into a full-scale war, involving various international actors, including China and the Soviet Union. United States, fought to repel the invasion. The conflict soon escalated into a full-scale war, involving various international actors, including China and the Soviet Union. The Armistice Agreement After protracted negotiations between the involved parties, the Korean Armistice Agreement was signed on July 27, 1953, in the village of Panmunjom. The agreement was intended to suspend hostilities. ND established a demilitarized zone, DMZ, along the 38th parallel, acting as a buffer zone between the two Koreas. This agreement ensured that both sides ceased fire, returning the peninsula to a state. ND established a demilitarized zone, DMZ, along the 38th parallel, acting as a buffer zone between the two Koreas. This agreement ensured that both sides ceased fire, returning the peninsula to a state. Of temporary ceasefire. Key provisions The Korean Armistice Agreement had several crucial provisions. Firstly, it established the Military Armistice Commission, MAC, to oversee the implementation of the ceasefire. Comprising Representative As from both North and South Korea, as well as neutral countries, the MAC aimed to monitor the strict adherence to the agreement. 
As from both North and South Korea, as well as neutral countries, the MAC aimed to monitor the strict adherence to the agreement. Secondly, the agreement created the DMZ, a 248-kilometer-long and 4-kilometer-wide strip of land that separated the belligerent parties. The DMZ was established as a demilitarized zone, prohibiting a why military presence, activities, or fortifications within its borders. Why military presence, activities, or fortifications within its borders. Finally, the agreement provided for the exchange of prisoners of war, ensuring the repatriation of soldiers captured during the conflict. The repatriation process continued for several years, with th. Usans of soldiers being returned to their respective countries. Usans of soldiers being returned to their respective countries. Consequences Although the Korean Armistice Agreement brought an end to the intense fighting, it left Korea divided into two separate entities. The demarcation along the 38th parallel crystallized the division that A. North Korea, led by a communist regime, and South Korea, governed by a democratic regime. This division created a deep ideological, political, and economic chasm between the two nations. A. North Korea led by a communist regime, and South Korea, governed by a democratic regime. This division created a deep ideological, political, and economic chasm between the two nations. For North Korea, the armistice marked the starting point of a totalitarian regime under the leadership of Kim Il-sung and subsequently, his successors. The lack of a permanent peace agreement country. Yuta to the further entrenchment of its totalitarian system. The country developed a culture of extreme isolation, severely limiting interactions with the outside world. Yuta to the further entrenchment of its totalitarian system. The country developed a culture of extreme isolation, severely limiting interactions with the outside world. In contrast, South Korea used the armistice as an opportunity to focus on economic development and democratization. Adopting an export-oriented industrialization strategy, South Korea rapidly moderni. At its economy and achieved remarkable growth over the following decades. However, the constant threat from the North necessitated the maintenance of a strong military and frequent joint military EXC. At its economy and achieved remarkable growth over the following decades. However, the constant threat from the North necessitated the maintenance of a strong military and frequent joint military EXC. Sizes with the United States The Legacy The Korean Armistice Agreement has left a lasting impact on the Korean Peninsula. The lack of a formal peace treaty means that the two nations remain technically at war, keeping tensions high. Both N. RTH and South Korea have adopted differing ideological and political systems, reinforcing the division between them. RTH and South Korea have adopted differing ideological and political systems, reinforcing the division between them. The DMZ, established by the agreement, stands as a physical reminder of the ongoing divide. It serves as a symbolic representation of the separation and the tragic history of the Korean War. Efforts towards peace Over the years, there have been various attempts to replace the armistice with a permanent peace agreement. Diplomatic negotiations and dialogue have taken place between North and South Korea, the UN. TED States, and other international actors. These efforts, such as the Inter-Korean Summit of 2018 and the Singapore Summit in the same year offered glimmers of hope for reconciliation and the DNUK. TED States, and other international actors. These efforts, such as the Inter-Korean Summit of 2018 and the Singapore Summit in the same year offered glimmers of hope for reconciliation and the DNUK. Erization of the Korean Peninsula The Korean Armistice Agreement signed on July 27, 1953, brought an end to the three-year-long Korean War that ravaged the Korean Peninsula. 
while it succeeded in stopping the fighting, the armistice. Left Korea divided and created a lasting divide that still affects the nation to this day. This article aims to explore the key aspects of the Korean Armistice Agreement and shed light on the consequel. Left Korea divided and created a lasting divide that still affects the nation to this day. This article aims to explore the key aspects of the Korean Armistice Agreement and shed light on the consequel. This is it had on both North and South Korea. Historical Context the Korean War broke out on June 25, 1950, when North Korean forces crossed the 38th parallel, the line dividing the Korean peninsula. South Korea, supported by the United Nations and primarily the U. United States, fought to repel the invasion. The conflict soon escalated into a full-scale war, involving various international actors, including China and the Soviet Union. United States, fought to repel the invasion. The conflict soon escalated into a full-scale war, involving various international actors, including China and the Soviet Union. The Armistice Agreement After protracted negotiations between the involved parties, the Korean Armistice Agreement was signed on July 27, 1953, in the village of Panmunjom. The agreement was intended to suspend hostilities. ND established a demilitarized zone, DMZ, along the 38th parallel, acting as a buffer zone between the two Koreas. This agreement ensured that both sides ceased fire, returning the peninsula to a state. ND established a demilitarized zone, DMZ, along the 38th parallel, acting as a buffer zone between the two Koreas. This agreement ensured that both sides ceased fire, returning the peninsula to a state. Of temporary ceasefire. Industrial Espionage During the Cold War. Title Industrial Espionage During the Cold War The Hidden Battle for Technological Supremacy. Introduction 100 Words. The Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union extended beyond the arenas of military power and political influence. Unbeknownst to many, a covert battle for technological supreme. Psy took place, marked by the shadowy practice of industrial espionage. Spies, double agents, and undercover operations sought to gain access to classified information, proprietary technologies, and v. Psy took place, marked by the shadowy practice of industrial espionage. Spies, double agents, and undercover operations sought to gain access to classified information, proprietary technologies, and v. Louable Trade Secrets 1. The Roots of Industrial Espionage, 200 Words Industrial espionage has a long history, but it became especially prevalent during the Cold War as both sides sought to gain the upper hand. Motivated by ideological rivalry, military balance, and EC. Nomic competition, the superpowers targeted industries key to their strategic goals. In the United States, sectors like aerospace, intellectual property, and nuclear technology were prime targets. Me. Nomic competition, the superpowers targeted industries key to their strategic goals. In the United States, sectors like aerospace, intellectual property, and nuclear technology were prime targets. Me. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union prioritized obtaining Western technology related to defense, advanced manufacturing, and computing. 2. Spy vs. Spy, Methodologies and Tactics, 300 Words Industrial espionage during the Cold War relied on a range of sophisticated methodologies and tactics. Both sides meticulously cultivated networks of spies, often luring scientists, engineers, and boo. Innis men to betray their countries for personal gain or ideological motives. Covert operations, bribery, blackmail, hacking, and even honey traps were employed to obtain secret documents, blueprints. 
innocent men to betray their countries for personal gain or ideological motives. Covert operations, bribery, blackmail, hacking, and even honey traps were employed to obtain secret documents, blueprints, and trade secrets. 3. The Consequences of Industrial Espionage, 300 Words The consequences of industrial espionage were far-reaching and multifaceted. For the United States, the loss of proprietary technologies and intellectual property had economic implications, hindering technological advancements and compromising national security. Technological advancements and compromising national security. 4. The Technological Arms Race, 300 Words Industrial espionage played a crucial role in the technological arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union. Spying on each other's military and scientific advances helped accelerate the our own development. The espionage efforts focused on advanced technologies such as missile guidance systems, computing, space exploration, and nuclear research. This fierce competition fueled an unpro. Our own development. The espionage efforts focused on advanced technologies such as missile guidance systems, computing, space exploration, and nuclear research. This fierce competition fueled an unpro. It ended wave of innovation that forever transformed industries and shaped the modern world. 5. Espionage in Other Countries, 200 Words While the United States and the Soviet Union dominated the world stage during the Cold War, industrial espionage occurred on a global scale. Competitive nations such as the United Kingdom, France, ch. Na, Japan, and Israel all engaged in spying activities. These countries sought to bolster their own industrial and military capabilities, benefiting from stolen information, technology, and trade say. Na, Japan, and Israel all engaged in spying activities. These countries sought to bolster their own industrial and military capabilities, benefiting from stolen information, technology, and trade say. Rets. 6. Legacy and Lessons Learned, 200 Words The legacy of industrial espionage during the Cold War endures. It emphasized the importance of protecting intellectual property, prompting governments and industries to enhance security protocols and intellectual property laws. It also highlighted the significance of counterintelligence efforts in preventing the loss of valuable information crucial to national security and economic prosperity. Intellectual Property Laws It also highlighted the significance of counterintelligence efforts in preventing the loss of valuable information crucial to national security and economic prosperity. Title, Industrial Espionage During the Cold War the Hidden Battle for Technological Supremacy Introduction, 100 Words The Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union extended beyond the arenas of military power and political influence. Unbeknownst to many, a covert battle for technological supreme Sai took place, marked by the shadowy practice of industrial espionage. Spies, double agents, and undercover operations sought to gain access to classified information, proprietary technologies, and v. Psi took place, marked by the shadowy practice of industrial espionage. Spies, double agents, and undercover operations sought to gain access to classified information, proprietary technologies, and v. Louable Trade Secrets 1. The Roots of Industrial Espionage, 200 Words Industrial espionage has a long history, but it became especially prevalent during the Cold War as both sides sought to gain the upper hand. Motivated by ideological rivalry, military balance, and EC. Nomic competition, the superpowers targeted industries key to their strategic goals. In the United States, sectors like aerospace, intellectual property, and nuclear technology were prime targets. Me. Nomic competition, 
the superpowers targeted industries key to their strategic goals. In the United States, sectors like aerospace, intellectual property, and nuclear technology were prime targets. Me. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union prioritized obtaining Western technology related to defense, advanced manufacturing, and computing. 2. Spy vs. Spy, Methodologies and Tactics, 300 Words Industrial espionage during the Cold War relied on a range of sophisticated methodologies and tactics. Both sides meticulously cultivated networks of spies, often luring scientists, engineers, and boo. Innis men to betray their countries for personal gain or ideological motives. Covert operations, bribery, blackmail, packing, and even honey traps were employed to obtain secret documents, blueprints. Innis men to betray their countries for personal gain or ideological motives. Covert operations, bribery, blackmail, packing, and even honey traps were employed to obtain secret documents, blueprints and trade secrets. 3. The Consequences of Industrial Espionage, 300 Words The consequences of industrial espionage were far-reaching and multifaceted. For the United States, the loss of proprietary technologies and intellectual property had economic implications, hindering technological advancements and compromising national security. Technological Advancements and Compromising National Security 4. The Technological Arms Race, 300 Words Industrial espionage played a crucial role in the technological arms race between the United States and the Soviet Union. Spying on each other's military and scientific advances helped accelerate the Our Own Development the espionage efforts focused on advanced technologies such as missile guidance systems, computing, space exploration, and nuclear research. This fierce competition fueled an unpro. Our own development. The espionage efforts focused on advanced technologies such as missile guidance systems, computing, space exploration, and nuclear research. This fierce competition fueled an unpro. A dented wave of innovation that forever transformed industries and shaped the modern world. Role of Students and Youth in the Vietnam Revolution Title, The Crucial Role of Students and Youth in the Vietnam Revolution Introduction The Vietnam Revolution also known as the Vietnamese War of Independence, was a significant chapter in the country's history. Spanning roughly three decades, from 1945 to 1975, it involved a complex interplay of various forces seeking freedom, independence, and national unification. Within this larger struggle, students and youth played a pivotal role that cannot be overlooked. Their involvement interplay of various forces seeking freedom, independence, and national unification. Within this larger struggle, students and youth played a pivotal role that cannot be overlooked. Their involvement, passion, and unwavering commitment were instrumental in shaping the outcome of the Vietnam Revolution. 1. The Rise of Student Activism the seeds of student activism in Vietnam were sown during the early 20th century, when Vietnam was still under French colonial rule. Educated Vietnamese youth, exposed to ideas of nationalism, democracy, Sai, and social justice, began to question the legitimacy of colonial rule and yearned for independence. Student organizations such as the Vietnam Revolutionary Youth Association, Tan Ninh, emerged. Sai and social justice, began to question the legitimacy of colonial rule and yearned for independence. Student organizations such as the Vietnam Revolutionary Youth Association, Tan Ninh, emerged. S. Platforms for Intellectual Discourse, Fostering a Sense of Unity Among Young Revolutionaries 
2. Awakening National Identity Through Education Education played a crucial role in shaping the minds of Vietnamese students, instilling a profound sense of national identity and the desire for liberation. Many schools and universities became sent. As for political discussions, where students were exposed to revolutionary ideas and encouraged to question the existing system. Knowledge became a powerful tool for mobilization and students emerged. As for political discussions, where students were exposed to revolutionary ideas and encouraged to question the existing system. Knowledge became a powerful tool for mobilization and students emerged. As the vanguards of change. 3. Sparking resistance, the interplay of students and nationalism. As the Vietnam Revolution gained momentum, students actively participated in resistance movements against both the French colonizers and later the American intervention. They organized strikes, prot. T.S. and demonstrations, bravely standing up against oppression. Their courage, determination, and willingness to sacrifice inspired the wider Vietnamese population and invigorated the struggle for an T.S. and demonstrations, bravely standing up against oppression. Their courage, determination, and willingness to sacrifice inspired the wider Vietnamese population and invigorated the struggle for an Appendance 4. Forming the Vanguard, Student Militancy and Armed Resistance With the escalation of the Vietnam War, some students transitioned from peaceful activism to armed resistance, joining the ranks of the National Liberation Front, NLF, also known as the Viet Cong. T. Air adaptability and determination in the face of adversity were essential in securing key victories for the revolution. Air adaptability and determination in the face of adversity were essential in securing key victories for the revolution. 5. Cultural Revolution and the Youth Movement The youth movement in Vietnam extended beyond the realm of armed struggle. Students and young people were at the forefront of the cultural revolution, striving to reshape societal norms and challenge. Traditional Values through literature, art, and music, they express their aspirations for a more inclusive and egalitarian society. The power of their creativity and cultural expression resonated. Traditional values. Through literature, art, and music, they express their aspirations for a more inclusive and egalitarian society. The power of their creativity and cultural expression resonated. If the broader population, further consolidating the revolution's support base. 6. International Solidarity, Mobilizing Support Abroad Vietnam students and youth were not isolated from the global stage. They actively sought international support and built solidarity with anti-war movements worldwide. 7. Legacy of the Student Movement the legacy of the student and youth movements in the Vietnam Revolution is profound. Their active involvement not only ensured the survival of Vietnamese culture, identity, and independence but also demonstrated the potential for young people to effect transformative change. Their sacrifice, commitment, and unwavering spirit inspired subsequent generations to strive for a more just and equitable demonstrated the potential for young people to effect transformative change. Their sacrifice, commitment, and unwavering spirit inspired subsequent generations to strive for a more just and equitable. Society The Crucial Role of Students and Youth in the Vietnam Revolution Introduction The Vietnam Revolution also known as the Vietnamese War of Independence, holds a significant place in the history of Vietnam. 
It spanned from 1945 to 1975 and involved an intricate interplay of fork. S. Striving for freedom, independence, and national unification. Amidst this complex struggle, students and youth emerged as pivotal actors whose contribution cannot be underestimated. They're active in S. Striving for freedom, independence, and national unification. Amidst this complex struggle, students and youth emerged as pivotal actors whose contribution cannot be underestimated. They're active in Movement, passion, and unwavering dedication played a decisive role in shaping the outcome of the Vietnam Revolution. 1. The Rise of Student Activism The roots of student activism in Vietnam can be traced back to the early 20th century, a period when Vietnam was still under French colonial rule. Educated Vietnamese youth, exposed to ideas of natio. Alism, democracy, and social justice, began questioning the legitimacy of colonial authority and yearned for independence. Platforms such as the Vietnam Revolutionary Youth Association, Thanh Ninh P. Alism, democracy, and social justice, began questioning the legitimacy of colonial authority and yearned for independence. Platforms such as the Vietnam Revolutionary Youth Association, Thanh Ninh P. provided a space for intellectual discussions, fostering a sense of unity among young revolutionaries. 2. Awakening national identity through education Education played a crucial role in shaping the mindset of Vietnamese students, instilling a profound sense of national identity and the desire for liberation. Many schools and universities evolved in O centers for political discourse, where students engaged with revolutionary ideas and were encouraged to challenge the existing system. Knowledge became a powerful mobilizing tool, and students emmer. O centers for political discourse, where students engaged with revolutionary ideas and were encouraged to challenge the existing system. Knowledge became a powerful mobilizing tool, and students emmer. Ed is the frontrunners in driving societal transformation. 3. Sparking Resistance, the Interplay of Students and Nationalism As the Vietnam Revolution gained momentum, students actively participated in resistance movements against both the French colonizers and later the American intervention. They organized strikes, prot. T.S. and demonstrations, fearlessly opposing oppression. Their bravery, determination, and willingness to sacrifice inspired the wider Vietnamese population, igniting the struggle for independence. T.S. and demonstrations, fearlessly opposing oppression. Their bravery, determination, and willingness to sacrifice inspired the wider Vietnamese population, igniting the struggle for independence. 4. Forming the Vanguard, Student Militancy and Armed Resistance As the Vietnam War escalated, some students transitioned from peaceful activism to armed resistance, joining the ranks of the National Liberation Front, NLF, also known as the Viet Cong. These stood. The Atlantic Wall in World War II Title, The Atlantic Wall in World War II, Fortress Europe's Last Stand Introduction, Approximately 100 Words Spanning thousands of kilometers, the wall comprised of concrete bunkers, gun emplacements, minefields, and other defensive structures. This article explores the origins, construction, strategic sign. Fickens, An Ultimate Fate of the Atlantic Wall Fickens, An Ultimate Fate of the Atlantic Wall Origins and Construction, Approximately 300 Words With Hitler's rise to power in 1933, the idea was revived and intensified. 
realizing the potential vulnerability of their coastal territories, the Germans set about building a fortified wall to deter. Any future invasion Any future invasion Construction of the Atlantic Wall began in earnest after the fall of France in 1940. Led by Field Marshal Erwin Rommel, numerous engineers, laborers and forced laborers were mobilized to complete TH. Immense Project The fortifications extended from the northern tip of Norway to the Franco-Spanish border, covering over 2,500 miles in total. The Germans exploited existing natural features such as Immense project. The fortifications extended from the northern tip of Norway to the Franco-Spanish border, covering over 2,500 miles in total. The Germans exploited existing natural features such as Cliffs, dunes and rivers to strengthen their defensive positions. The Atlantic Wall consisted of various components. At its core were reinforced concrete bunkers, built in a standardized design, housing artillery, machine guns, and command centers. These bunkers we e strategically placed along the coastline and interconnected by a complex network of trenches and tunnels. Additionally, an extensive system of anti-tank obstacles, minefields, and barbed wire fencing. e strategically placed along the coastline and interconnected by a complex network of trenches and tunnels. Additionally, an extensive system of anti-tank obstacles, minefields, and barbed wire fencing. G was constructed to impede any amphibious assault. The walls were further strengthened with gun emplacements, coastal batteries, and casemates armed with heavy artillery, capable of targeting both L. Strategic significance, approximately 500 words. The Atlantic Wall served as a psychological deterrent, sowing fear among the Allies and creating the perception of an impenetrable defense barrier. By stretching their resources thin in an attempt to counteract the Wall's strategic position, the Allies were forced to divert significant military assets to counter its perceived threat. The Germans believed that any invasion attempts would be Suffolk. Counteract the wall's strategic position, the Allies were forced to divert significant military assets to counter its perceived threat. The Germans believed that any invasion attempts would be Suffolk. At least delayed by the wall, allowing for counterattacks and the eventual defeat of the invaders. Nevertheless, the Atlantic Wall faced several challenges. The sheer scale of the fortifications meant that its defenses could not be equally strong everywhere. This presented opportunities for the AL. IEs to identify and exploit weak points. IEs to identify and exploit weak points. The importance of the Atlantic Wall was most acutely felt during the planning and execution of Operation Overlord, the Allied invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944, commonly known as D Day. The Landine. Beaches of Omaha, Utah, Gold, Juneau, and Sword became legends in military history, as the Allies launched a massive assault against the Atlantic Wall's defenses. Despite initial setbacks and heavy CA. Beaches of Omaha, Utah, Gold, Juneau, and Sword became legends in military history, as the Allies launched a massive assault against the Atlantic Wall's defenses. Despite initial setbacks and heavy CA. Ulties, the sheer scale of the invasion overwhelmed the German defenders, and the Atlantic Wall was breached. The Fall of the Atlantic Wall, Approximately 400 Words Following the successful D-Day landings, the strategic significance of the Atlantic Wall was severely diminished. Allied forces broke through the German defenses and began advancing inland, Liberton. Occupied Territories the fortifications of the Atlantic Wall, once regarded as impenetrable, had been decisively breached. 
occupied territories. The fortifications of the Atlantic Wall, once regarded as impenetrable, had been decisively breached. As the Allies pushed eastward, bypassing much of the Wall, Rommel, fearing the impending collapse of the Atlantic Wall, pleaded with Hitler to adopt a flexible defense strategy. However, Hitler was a a month that the wall should be defended at all costs, promoting the idea of Festung Europa, Fortress Europe. This insistence led to a diversion of German resources and forces away from more mobile. A month that the wall should be defended at all costs, promoting the idea of Festung Europa, Fortress Europe. This insistence led to a diversion of German resources and forces away from more mobile. Defense Tactics By September 1944, the remnants of the Atlantic Wall were pushed back into Germany itself as the Allies advanced towards the Rhine. The once formidable defenses were systematically dismantled, reperp. Said, or destroyed as they became irrelevant in the changing tides of war. Said, or destroyed as they became irrelevant in the changing tides of war. The landing beaches of Omaha, Utah, Gold, Juno, and Sword became legends in military history, as the Allies launched a massive assault against the Atlantic Wall's defenses. D Day was a major turning point in the war, as Allied forces succeeded in breaching the Atlantic Wall and gaining a foothold on the continent. The German defenders put up fierce resistance, and the I. Ischel assault suffered heavy casualties. However, the Allies were able to overcome the defenses and establish beachheads, paving the way for the liberation of France and the subsequent advance into G. Ischel assault suffered heavy casualties. However, the Allies were able to overcome the defenses and establish beachheads, paving the way for the liberation of France and the subsequent advance into G. Germany The fall of the Atlantic Wall was a crucial moment in World War II. It demonstrated the vulnerability of the German defenses and shattered the myth of invincibility surrounding the wall. The success El breach of the wall also marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany's control over occupied Europe. From this point onwards, the momentum shifted in favor of the Allies, leading to the eventua. El breach of the wall also marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany's control over occupied Europe. From this point onwards, the momentum shifted in favor of the Allies, leading to the eventua. Defeat of the Axis Powers Following the successful D-Day landings, the strategic significance of the Atlantic Wall was severely diminished. Allied forces broke through the German defenses and began advancing inland, Liberton. Occupied Territories The fortifications of the Atlantic Wall, once regarded as impenetrable, had been decisively breached. Occupied territories. The fortifications of the Atlantic Wall, once regarded as impenetrable, had been decisively breached. As the Allies pushed eastward, bypassing much of the Wall, Rommel, fearing the impending collapse of the Atlantic Wall, pleaded with Hitler to adopt a flexible defense strategy. However, Hitler was a a month that the Wall should be defended at all costs promoting the idea of Festung Europa, Fortress Europe. This insistence led to a diversion of German resources and forces away from more mobile. A month that the wall should be defended at all costs, promoting the idea of Festung Europa, Fortress Europe. This insistence led to a diversion of German resources and forces away from more mobile. Defense Tactics By September 1944, the remnants of the Atlantic Wall were pushed back into Germany itself as the Allies advanced towards the Rhine. The once formidable defenses were systematically dismantled, reperp. 
said, or destroyed as they became irrelevant in the changing tides of war. Said, or destroyed as they became irrelevant in the changing tides of war.